guys, what's up? It's me, Gray, and today I am here in my bedroom, and I'm making a video today on stuff I usually wouldn't talk about, but I was asked by someone in the Insta DMs, you know, hit me up on the Insta if you guys got questions or anything, just shoot in the DMs, you feel? But anyways, I got asked by a girl named Chloe, sorry, well, she's, not, she's I think she's, wouldn't be mad if I still called her a girl, but she is going to start her transition soon from female to male I'm assuming um, don't assume but I'm going to assume um, she wanted to know how she should come out to her parents so like when's the best time kind of stuff so sorry let me itch my eye really quickly again I said I don't usually talk about this kind of stuff because I don't like to make that my whole entire life like obviously I have other qualities and things than just being a transgender person but yeah if you guys ask me questions about it if you want to know I'll make more videos on it but if not I'm just gonna continue the shit that I do so anyways Chloe so none of my fingers cracked that's so embarrassing so anyways um so I came out around it was the day after valentine's day of last first time i heard of a transgender person was probably um caitlyn jenner when she first came out and i still wasn't like aware of what that even meant or like what it is or like what it feels to be like that but like progressively after all that happened i became more aware of like um transgender transgender social media influencers like Justin and um, Ryan Stalvey and all of them and eventually like I started watching them and like like looking more into the subject and I was like oh fuck wait this like is me like exactly it's like kind of when you're like going through like your horoscope kind of shit and it's just like well that's like exactly me so I was um I watched their videos I got more informed on the subject and then I was like well shit like Obviously all this stuff that's been going on my like past couple of years so like it's all makes sense towards it and obviously I Didn't know what to do So it kind of took me a while to like realize like oh shit like if I'm actually gonna go through with this kind of stuff Like and I like actually like I'm going to come out To my parents like obviously I need to otherwise I'm just gonna wind up dead in a ditch somewhere but um so finally, I mustered up the balls. And ever since I was little, I've always dressed pretty like masculine. I was like a tomboy up until like seventh grade, cause I got the shit bully out of me for wearing boys' clothes. That's another, that's something else. But um, so yeah, everything like puzzle shit, you know, like clang clang clang. So I was very sure of myself when I was going to tell my parents. Um, you want to make sure it's also the right time. I feel like your parents were stressed out with like stupid stuff going on during the fam and like just like if you piss them off like 20 minutes ago like don't like be like yo mom I'm trans like what's up but no you gotta make sure the time is right when they're relaxed after a good meal take them out to dinner give them a nice wine and dine and then tell them just lay it down be like yo I want a dick or yo cut these titties off you know so basically my pussy ass texted my mom this giant ass paragraph because I can't speak to anyone because I'm a pussy I'm a little bitch so I texted my mom all this shit and she was like all right all right okay she like probably was like what the fuck like can you relax it's like 10 o'clock at night like you got school tomorrow like go to sleep and I'm just like spilling all this shit on her so the next day, um, I wake up, I go to school, and I like look at her like as if she's gonna say to something to me. She just like carried on throughout the day like everything was normal. So I was like, all right. So finally when I got home, I confronted her because I was like uncomfortable because she wasn't saying anything. I was like, so like, what's the deal? She's like, I believe you. And I've like always kind of seen the more masculine side of you, especially when I was younger. I was such a more like vibrant, person and like woo but like I mean I still am pretty wild and if you know what I mean definitely 
Ever since I came out, I've seen myself kind of become the same person I was when I was younger. Kind of more like carefree and just like, don't really give a fuck what people think because I'm happier with myself now. But yeah, if you need advice and if you have judgmental parents or they're gonna disown you, honestly, if they're not going to accept you for who you are, and if they're just gonna make this into some giant fucking no you're not transgender kind of fight thing, you have to either prove yourself to them or they're just not real family. Because the people that you surround yourself with and that will accept you and be supportive of you no matter what are the people you need to spend time with and be with. So that's all I gotta say. And plus, not everything is so pretty and squeaky clean. Um, as everything seems on the internet, a lot of shit happens that people don't know about. And I've had a I haven't had too many, but I've had quite a few issues about me being a little tranny, you know? Because I'm pretty cute and I'm rambunctious, you know? But nah, people have issues with me and like if they do, I don't really fucking care. Because like at the end of the day, I'm hustling my bustle and I'm not fucking hurting your life. So I don't understand how, how me being me is going to hurt you in the long run, but you're gonna be fucking upset about it, I don't know, go fucking cry over it or something. But, yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. You gotta, you just gotta know. You gotta know yourself. You gotta trust your gut, you know? You gotta go for it. And if you're wrong, then you're fucking wrong, you know? It's life, you only live once. But you might wanna be right before you start homework. Hurt, hurt. As I said before, it's been nearly a, it's been over a year. What the fuck am I talking about? It's been almost, uh, it's almost been a year and a half. And like, my mom's chilling, everything's chilling, but like, Poppy, Poppy over there isn't like too thrilled about it still. And like, I understand that. It's hard to see your little girl grow into something else than you expected or wanted them to be. And my parents want the best for me, so I understand them being upset and concerned for my well-being in the future. So, whatever happens, happens for a reason. And, yeah, this really explains my mood. An actual, like, excuse. I haven't been uploading because I got this really atrocious haircut. Like, it wasn't, like, bad. Like, it just looked bad on me. Because, like... My hair was like so short. So I'm filming videos again because my hair is getting back to where I want it and I don't look as ugly as I did before. So I hope you guys are excited. It's almost summer. I'm gonna be filming videos all the freaking time. So like, push that notification bell, what the fuck? But yeah, for real, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other transgender related questions, let me know. I can uh, be your dude. But, um, oh, and if there's any people scrolling on here being like, yo, fuck this guy. You're not even a guy. You have a pussy or like some dumb shit like that. Fuck you. Go waste your time on someone else's channel. Because honestly, I don't care. All right? I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't have a dick, but if I did, I'd fucking hit you with it. So, bye. Love you.